Okay, one step closer. Uh, I just got uh, this idle control valve for it. I got this in engine tip temp sensor that goes in the head. I got this uh, throttle position sensor. Uh, this knock sensor and the um, the crank position sensor now all that let's go and put it in uh, with this uh, CPS um, <laughs> uh, throttle p position sensor uh, this is a 87 through uh, 90 uh, one so I and I have a 93 um, intake manifold with the throttle body so the sensor is a little bit different um, so I'll show you how to adapt that into that um, uh, yeah everything else is pretty much straightforward um, got some good things coming with so stay tuned okay so right there that's where uh, this idle air control valve goes there's two little bolts oh, yeah two little bolts that are or star shaped. I can't remember what size those are. Um, Torx, yeah. But anyways, uh, that goes right there. Okay, so I got that bad boy on. Now next, I'm going to go do the knock sensor. Knock sensor is down here. Uh, it goes right there, and just screws into there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so so there's two parts of this knock sensor. There's this part that screws into the block, and there's the actual sensor. Um, then it's capped by a nut. If I could get that in. <laughs> this is very very difficult it's left-handed <laughs> there you go all right and this guy is a 24 millimeter uh, wrench that you need to tighten that down sensor goes on there and this guy goes on here I don't know which size is that but I'm uh, kind of debating on whether I want to go up or go off to the side like that um, we'll see with the manifold and everything else Okay, so we're going to install this temperature sensor, and the temperature sensor is right here. So that is a 13 millimeter, and take that out and replace it. And pretty simple. Okay, out comes with the new, or out comes the old, and with the new, just right here. Tighten that sucker down. Alright. Okay. Now that one is done. That temperature sensor is done. Now I can start working on this guy. The throttle position sensor. Um, show you how it works on the... Renix ones. The Renix is 
87 to uh, 90. And this is a 93. And up. Well, it's. Alrighty. So I got that done. Now. We can start working on the. Uh, throttle position sensor. Uh, this is. This. Throttle body is a 93. From. 87 to 90 it they use a different sensor or a different kind of type of sensor um, then they switch to a to this kind this throttle body which is a little bit different so as a sensor but I could make this work um, I got this little uh, spring in here right there and that what moves a sensor back and forth I'll show you once I get to the bench and I'll show you the Linux throttle body and how that works with with it all right Okay, so this is the 87, 87 through 90 uh, TPS sensor, and uh, and this is the original from original throttle body from a uh, 87 to 90. Oops. <laughs> um. So, anyways, how this works is that right here is what moves this piece back and forth okay so as you press on the gas pedal yeah as you press on the gas pedal it moves that arm which moves this arm here so what we have to do is on the on my 93 throttle body so this is the 93 throttle body um, this could work for from 91 and up and see how oops uh, this guy right here was like that arm on that original throttle body and the arm moves this guy, pretty much just like that, and just moves it up and down as a daughter body, as a oh, as a butterfly uh, opens and closes in the daughter body. Um, we'll have to go ahead and make some spacers spacers between the throttle body and the sensor um, but other than that it's really pretty straightforward to do this and longer bolts also <laughs> okay Oops. so I went ahead and I found this here um, it's going to be a little spacer and I cut it right here and then it'll be a spacer for these longer bolts I just got and they will go in between just like this it was just like that then that will space it off just enough so this can have room and still be tied up against the throttle body. All right. Okay, so went through, cut uh, all those little pieces. See the spacer right there. So cut that. Here's a piece I took them off. Um, let's see if they work. All right. 
So I got the uh, TPS on here, and it's all working flawlessly right now. Um, once I get on the get the engine in and everything, I'll go through and uh, make sure that this is reading the right voltage when it goes all the way up and goes all the way down. Um, other than that, this is all I could do right now. Um, yeah, sweet. Okay, look at this goodie. New box. So I got a harmonic dampener here. Uh, I put this on the engine today. So, right now, uh, we're trying to put this balance on. Uh, I'm trying to lube this up with some just 80 90 weight oil. Um, just help it slide on. And there is a seal right here, so don't want to tear that up. So, I'm trying to just put some on. Spread it all around. Do the same thing for the seal. Make sure that gets all moved up. And this is just oil that I had on the shelf. So Alright, so I got all this all lubed up, just how I like it, um, and also on the balancer, you see how it has this, uh, this slot right here, you need to line that slot up with this key, and then tighten her down, oh, sorry, but yeah. Get on, then um, that plot that's different. Okay, then grab a mallet or something that won't mess this up. Just back in. in and the threads in sweet so it would be a little bit more difficult with me because I don't have a transmission or anything that's stopping the engine from turning so I have to find a way to do that um, but yeah <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and tighten up this bolt and until the engine starts turning. Then I'm going to find a way to stop the engine turning. I mean the crankshaft turning. So let's get on this. This is a 19 millimeter. Start cranking away.
closer. Not much more. It's fake. Maybe an eighth of an inch. Okay, so tightening out this bolt is 80 foot pounds. Um, so let's get that tightened up. And actually. Alright, there you go. It's 80 foot pounds, and that's how you install one. Pretty simple. 